Oh, it's getting cold out, baby, isn't it? <laughs> oh, your hands are absolutely freezing. I also... Well, folks, because it's freezing out and it's winter warmer time coming up, we have done a chili con carne before. We've done it in the oven, though, didn't we? And it was an old video, but this time we're going to get the old slow cooker out because we're not going to put it in that expensive oven, which costs a lot to run. We're going to do it in a slow cooker, which is about 360 watts, folks. So that's the idea of it, baby, isn't it? A nice winter warmer dish, chili con carne, Mexican. My way, my way. Right, folks, let's get going with this then. So first of all, we'll run through the ingredients with you right now. Here's our ingredients. 750 grams of beef mince, a tin of baked beans, a tin of kidney beans, a tin of chopped tomatoes, two onions, some garlic, we used three cloves, one chili of your choice, a heaped teaspoon of chili powder, a packet of chili mix, a tablespoon of tomato puree. Right, let's get your little cooker, folks. We've had a lot of people say that um, they've been buying these or using these as well. And also for us to look into, where are you going? Just get me frying pan. Also for us to look into, an in, oh yeah, right. A few of you want that done as well, folks. A few of you said that before. Oh, what did, why don't he stop talking? Well, we're doing a video, baby, aren't we? I'm the cook and he's the gob. Yeah, she likes, she doesn't like talking too much, to be honest with you, unless she's giving me a bit of chip, but that's another story. Yeah, so a lot of you have said about an, an instant pot, or an instant pot, is it? Well, there is an instant pot and an instant pot, so I've been just looking this morning. I think they're sort of working around a pressure cooker thing, but also they say get the induction hob as well. So we are actually looking into that as well. A lot of people, you, a lot of you out there, have said that uh, the induction hob is also very quick at heating up and also very efficient as well. So we will we'll be looking into that. But for now, because we've got this and it's a lot cheaper than running that, believe it or not. Fire. And those of you who don't believe that, we have done a previous video, two videos now, where I've shown the graphs from our energy supplier of the same time last year as to now, and you can see the difference. And all we've done basically is started cooking with an air fryer, a slow cooker, and our little uh, hobs here. So anyway, baby, what are we gonna do first? We're gonna brown, brown the mince off in here. Right, so literally all you're gonna do is just let that do its thing, and that will probably render off some fat as well, won't it? Not a lot, because it's butcher's mince. It's not right. like it's shop bought. So again, depending like on where you buy your mince from, will depend how much fluid comes out of that, won't it? Yeah. So I'll leave you to do that then, baby. So while she's doing that, folks, I'm gonna get my hands dirty as well, and I'm gonna chop the onions up for her. So there you go, folks. I've done a little bit of work myself and Sharon's just fried off that mince now. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of liquid in there, depending on where you buy it from. So we're just gonna drain quite a lot of that off. And all she does is just sort of hold it in the frying pan, hold back and literally just tip it out like that, look. There's a lot of liquid in there, which we don't really wanna have in our uh, thing because we're gonna add our own flavor and variations. Although we won't fully drain it, there's still a little bit in there. Right, now everything basically now, Sharon, gets thrown into one pot, doesn't it? Yeah, I love it. So it's in with the mince. In with the onions. Ours is a 3.8 litre one, folks. You don't really need one this big, but um, it's what we have and it's what we're gonna use. We have baked beans because we love our baked beans. And yeah, like not this. conventional. As no. I said, it's our version of a chili con carne. And it is a bean anyway, Sharon. Yeah. Although we will actually be putting in kidney beans, as you well know if you've seen the ingredients, folks. So don't be too horrified with that. You Don't, don't knock it until you've tried it, Sharon, yeah. that right. Yeah, these kidney beans, folks, sometimes they come in a chili sauce. Oh, it's in water. <laughs> these ones are just in water, but we won't actually use that. We'll actually drain them and wash them. So Sharon's just draining them off, folks, and they will literally go straight in as well. Right, in go the uh, chopped tomatoes. You could put plum tomatoes in, exactly the same thing, or you could even put fresh tomatoes in, but we like the chopped tomatoes. We like the way they break down nice and easy. And again, just to give it a bit of depth of colour as well, put a good portion of tomato puree in as well that would impart some tomato flavor as well but it also darkens it up a little bit so Sharon's just finally chopping the uh, garlic there you can actually do that with a garlic press as well so depends what you want to do we just like using their nice sharp knife Sharon don't we oh, I love it. right that's three cloves of garlic because we like garlic so we have three big cloves so just gonna chop up this chili this isn't a red hot chili folks it's um Medium. Yeah, probably a medium, but um, whether you leave the seeds in or not is entirely up to you. We are. But we are, because it's not a very hot chilli, as I say. So we're going to chop this up nice and fine, and that will go in as well. Right, 
And just to complement that as well, we're just gonna put some um, powdered chili, and we're gonna put one heap teaspoon in there, just uh, to help things along. And we've also got this chili con carne mix. Now you don't have to do this. It has got the old herbs and spices in it. And you basically just mix this one with 125 milliliters of water, which we're gonna do now. Again, this is totally optional. We're putting this in because we basically had it in the cupboard. And as I say, there are a few other herbs and spices in there as well. That goes in as well. How about that? So just give it a bit of a mix up. And basically that's all the work done, Sharon. Yeah, Mr. Slow Cooker does all the hard work for you. Yep, yeah, so you're going to leave this on. How long will we leave this on for? About three to four hours. It's right. on, on a low. Going to keep it on the low setting, folks. Yeah, on the low. And just let that tick away and do its own thing. So on goes the lid. And that's it, folks. The work is actually done. We've just got to sit about now and do whatever we want to do, Sharon. Yeah. We will be having, well, I'll be having mine with this uh, spicy Mexican-style rice. This stuff cooks in the microwave in probably two minutes, isn't it? It is two minutes, She's yeah. going to do us with a jacket potato. We're not having this today, by the way, folks. We're going to be having this tomorrow. And it's always better the next day, isn't it? Oh, yeah, the flavours really come out the next day. So she'll be having hers with a jacket potato. You could buy them little pocket boats. What, we had before? Yeah, she can do all that. You can yeah. put them in the little chilli pocket boats. You can have them with Doritos. You can get some Doritos and put some grated cheese over the top. Put them in the air fryer just to heat them up. Yeah. And have, what do they call them? Oh, it's like your dirty fries, isn't it? Yeah, but there's a name for it, isn't it? Um, just tortilla with chilli, isn't it? Tortilla, no, no with, with the cheese on, nachos. nachos. That's the word I was thinking of. So plenty of variations, but the main part of the dish is going to just be done now in that slow cooker. And you can put it on chips. I did this the other day with my daughter's oh, there. Oh, lovely. Cook some chips and I put some chilli on and then I put a little bit of cheese on the top, put it in the air fry just to finish off. Loaded fries, lovely. Shall dirty fries. Dirty loaded fries. We're dirty, <laughs> dirty loaded fries. We will be having some of them and doing them on the channel as well, folks. And we'll be doing them in the air fryer. Yeah. Anyway, we've got half hour to lose. No, we haven't. We've got two well, and a half hours to lose. Well, I've got to wash out. And do what can we do in two and a half hours, baby? Watch a film. We'll see. I'm telling you. See you a bit later on, folks. Bye. Right, folks. It's been two and a half hours now. The chilli is cooked. And I must say, we've had a little look at it. It looks fantastic. We just boiled up some of this rice. Not boiled it up. Microwave. Microwaved it up. This is actually it's steaming. This is, this is the Mexican one. So let's get that into a bowl, baby. Again, this stuff's really, really good. Just give it a bit of a mash up, love. Oh yeah, look at that. Look how hot that is already. That's two minutes, folks. Takes all the hard work out of it. And we've also done some nachos with cheese on. With cheese on. Look at that, look. <laughs> Look. Go on, baby, have a go at that. Look, look, I know it's hot, isn't it? That was literally it. Burn your mouth. Probably about three minutes, two minutes in the, uh, in, in the air fryer shower, wasn't it? Probably about three minutes in the air fryer. Absolutely fantastic. So simple to do. And all we've done, get the old nachos over here, baby. They're literally just normal doitos. Put in a bowl and sprinkle some grated cheese. On the top, that's all we did there. And you could even put the old jalapenos in there. I've seen that oh, in. Or salsa. Or salsa on top of that as well, yeah, once it's done. Absolutely fantastic. Right, let's have a look at this chili, folks. Oh, look at that, folks. Look at that. Come on in, baby. Get a ladle of that out. Oh, yeah, go on. Hold it up there. <laughs> look at that, look. I'll tell you what, baby. Let's put a bit of sprinkled cheese on that as well. Oh, look. Oh, yeah. Let's have a closer look at it, folks. All right, let's just have a little go at one of them, baby. I know you've had one, but I just want to go. Mmm. I'll let you go in first. Right. Tell us what you think, Sean. Yeah. I do it all. Oh, oh, go on. <laughs> Chilli. Have <laughs> you got a bite, bite at the end of it? It's got a bit, maybe not a big heat teaspoon. Can I have a go? Oh. Look at that. It's like a Mexican party, folks. It's a Mexican party in my mouth. Is it? 
I've got some, I've got some cheese there. I've got some rice and I've got some chili as well. I'm going in folks, come with me. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Perfect! You know, don't you? Oh! Here starts. I can hear maracas, I can hear clackers. I can see you with a moustache, Sharon. A Mexican moustache. Really? And a sombrero on. Oh! I can see you in hospital, you keep saying things like that. I'll tell you what. <laughs> it, when you first put it in your gob, it's mild, and then all of a sudden the heat comes through. Watch this, watch oh. this changing colour. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. I'll tell you what, the chilli powder I think has brought the afterburn. I'll call it the afterburn. Oh. Cheers, mate, my voice go funny. It's not about helium, Sharon. I knew you lost your mind oh. when you dropped. I'll tell you what I'm going to try now, folks. Oh, I'm going to try it with some nachos. Doritos. Doritos, yeah, but why do you put cheese on a shadow and nacho? <laughs> yeah, but there's not cheese on that one. Hey, I'll put cheese on it, baby. Shame I've given him the chilli ones. Oh. With rice, with a jacket potato, even a bowl of it on your own. It's a winter warmer, Sharon. Jimmy's having it with chips. And all done on the slow cooker. 380 watts, that thing is. And that has made it superbly. You've got to give that a go, folks. I know we've done chilli before on this channel, but we've done it in the oven for about two and a half hours with an element which is about two kilowatts. Sharon. It's frightening, isn't it? It is frightening. In these day and age, I'll tell you what, that's the way to go. Get yourself a slow cooker, get yourself a, an air fryer. You can probably do it in the air fryer, but it's no point. That low wattage device does it perfectly adequate, and it is superb. Anyway, thanks very much, folks. I hope you've enjoyed this one. We're definitely going to tuck into this. We've got a big bowl of it there. And we're going to cover ourselves in it later. It's a Mexican party in this house, folks, and everyone's welcome. Thanks very much, folks. See you in the next video. Bye. And until then, bye for now. Chili. Oh, 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 oh.